huge part of the appeal of pinball is the fact that it's made by people in Chicago. I would always watch my dad play. I'd just like stand on the stool and watch him and I'd just drool all over the play field. He's competed standing on boxes because he couldn't reach the flippers and beating adults and making adults cry. Our father helped legalize pinball in the 70s to prove it was a game of skill, not luck. He was called as an expert witness. It's him calling his shot, hitting his shot, and then unanimously ruling to legalize pinball. It's a physical thing. There you go. It's like, it's, it's kind of badass. Oh no! Like, son of a that's how God created me. <laughs> Eric Stone, the weatherman. <laughs> when I was a little girl, I'd play for hours and hours with my brothers. When I'm really focused, everything else falls away and I'm just caught up in the journey of where the ball goes. My dad showed me how to play. I, know I was just probably like four years old. He's kind of like the wonder kid. He was barely tall enough to reach the flippers. Daniel is an autistic savant. When Robert plays pinball, he sees all the moving parts at the same time. I say I beat the number one score. Yeah, nice, nice job. I slow down a bit as I get older. Keith Owen is the best. He's everyone's biggest rival. He's the GOAT. The GOAT. Next question. He's the Michael Jordan of pinball. Uh, I still enjoy playing now and then. I like to watch Twitch. Just watch me blow this game up and then, you know, do that yourself, hopefully. It's like I have family all over the country. Howdy, this here is Hank. You do have a certain amount of movement. Today I'm going to be doing a comprehensive overview. Now let's talk about the bottom of the game. The IP is huge. You, know, you get your Deadpool, you get your Beatles, Aerosmith. Yes. It's like Supreme has a freaking pinball machine. Nothing bigger than Star Wars. When you're in the game, you can blow up the Death Star. 